Okay, this week on We Dig History, my cat is going to come and jump off of the table onto the floor. No, just kidding. Uh, for real, this week on We Dig History, she's going to go into the cat box and poop. This could get interesting. You going to go or what? Come on, we're wasting video space here. Come on, you can do it. There's no perfect spot. Yeah, right there is good. All right. So, uh, we'll give her some privacy for a second. So anyways, this week on We Dig History, it's going to be a couple of short clips. Uh, I didn't go out for a full day. I had my uh, my club hunt on Saturday, um, and I did get out once during the week, um, so I got something really good. Uh, thankfully, I was only out for a few hours, and I didn't get much of anything. You gonna wipe? Oh, I'm just gonna scrape here. Yeah, let's let's bury it up. Good thing it was just pee this time. So yeah, I got uh, one good thing. Uh, and you know the rest of the time I didn't get much of anything. I did get a couple other cool things, but nothing special. Uh, and I went out uh, after my club hunt, um, which was this past Saturday. Um, and that's the Massachusetts Treasure Hunting Association club hunt. It was an open hunt, lots of prizes. It was lots of fun. I uh, got together with a bunch of fellow metal detectorists, and a few of us went out. Uh, after the pump, club hunt was done, and we hit uh, a house, a couple of houses actually. Uh, so hope you enjoy. Here's the first find. Okay, guys, I'm at that same house I was at the other night with Dirt Flicker, and he just left, and I just got another copper. Looks like a largey. Oh, it's a drape bust. Nice, I'm going to take a picture of this before it fades away. Alright, hopefully we get a date guys, we'll be back. So, this uh, large scent that I just found uh, it's actually pretty significant because uh, it's only one out of two that I have found uh, of this particular type, date, I don't know, what's it going to be, uh, that I have found and they both happen to be in the last couple of months. Um, so it's pretty cool and this one's actually a little better than the first one. Actually, it's a lot better than the first one. So, uh, I'll show you what it is. Alright, so here it is. And, uh, hopefully you can tell by now. I don't know how great the lighting's uh, being captured here, but it's a 1798 drape bust. And in pretty decent shape. Nice little scratch there in the back. But uh, other than that, I mean, there's not much corrosion on this coin. It's worn, but uh, the patina is pretty nice and not much corrosion, so that's cool. Very happy to have that. It was uh, only until a couple of months ago I hadn't dug a, a U.S. Mint coin before 1800, and I dug two of them. The first one I had to tumble to get a date off of it. Because it was completely, I had no idea what it was, that it was even a, a large and a drape bust. Uh, this one I knew right away, just didn't know the date because it was dark. Got it home, cleaned it up, and bingo, another one. So very happy to have that as it fades out of focus.
All right, guys, out here with Relic Ray and a uh, new guy, Patrick, over there by the tree. We'll have to get a nickname for him. But anyway, Ray just dug this, uh, what was it, 1943 or something? Four, like, 44. Son, I think. Half penny. There it is, yeah. Half penny from uh, England, Great Britain, England. So that's cool. And uh, before that, we didn't get it on film. He dug uh, what we think is a King George. It's uh, pretty corroded, so hard to tell for sure. And we're not at a, even at a 1700s house. This is a turn of the century house. Um, but there's old houses. There's one, an old house across the street there in the back background. You can see it. Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, I just found a gold-plated cufflink that's really shiny. Pretty cool, must be uh, turn of the century probably. Very nice. We'll be back. All right, he's gonna dig another live dig here. Something, something, I don't even know. Last one didn't come out too well. Hopefully this one does. Is this like a movie documentary or something? No, we just do YouTube videos. Oh, YouTube? Yeah. Oh, you guys have a website? They have a YouTube channel. We got 100 videos you can go watch later. Yeah, it's We Dig History, Silver Shano. Yep. Oh, yeah. It'll be on Monday. What do we got? It's a regular penny. Yeah. Yeah, Memorial. Geez. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you guys a find that a friend of mine, uh, who is also a member of the club that I belong to, Massachusetts Treasure Hunting Association, or MTHA, uh, he found something that is just going to blow you away. Um, he's a new detectorist, he's only been detecting for I think around a year. Uh, and he's been coming to club for, you know, around a year as well. Um, but talk about beginner's luck. I mean, you got beginner's luck, you know, okay, I found a seeded half in my first year of detecting. Like, that's great. It's a seeded half, you know, wonderful. But everybody's seen a seeded half before. It's nothing anybody hasn't seen. This guy dug something that just makes my jaw drop. I can't even believe... I saw it, you know, um, it was in my hands um, at the club last meeting, and just an incredible find. The rarity of it, uh, I, f I found a find of a lifetime. I found a silver cash of 500 coins. If you're watching this video, you've probably seen it. Um, but I consider this to be better than, than my find, uh, just because of... Uh, you know, the rarity of it. it. There's only been possibly nine in existence. Uh, it's rumored anyway. I don't know how true that is, but it's very, very rare anyways. Um, and the history of it, the significance in the history of it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm just going to put a picture up. Unfortunately, I didn't get a video of it. I could probably because I, I'm, you know, I'm friends with him and I, I've hunted with him now um but uh just i just wanted to put a picture of this on one of my videos so you guys can see it. it's amazing so uh here it is